Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and <gasps> I have no idea what's over there. There's a screw Damn cap. Damn it! Screw cap. What's up? This is the second time in oh, like two weeks that I forgot to put what on the medallion. The, what the hell? The last video, the whole video. All what right. is wrong, man? This is what we're gonna do. This is what happens when we're in. This is what we're gonna do. Isolation. This is what we're gonna do. At least perspective. Before every shoot. Uh huh. Before we hit record. Yeah. You're just gonna you stand there. You just give me a little spin. So you can check me, make yeah, sure all. So I can, I can assess the situation. Yeah, and you be like, hey, your medallion, bro. And I'll point out things you need to be working on. Yeah, like my abs or <laughs> right. my glutes. Right, your, your, uh, your traps are getting a little, yeah. a little oh, pitiful. Dang it. Those, those, are, uh, those are not your traps, those are your triceps. Yeah. Uh, traps, these uh, are your trapezius muscles. Yeah. These are your, your uh, lats, right? I know all the muscles. How muscle do you know groups. all of this? Because I'm ripped, bro. Bro, all right. <laughs> all right, well, today we're drinking a gift from Mike Allen. Mike Allen, you magnificent bastard. I didn't have a thing in there. I'm kind of excited about this. I feel one. bad. I didn't have anything. That's eh, fine. It's, 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 I had the bottle. I'm excited about this one because of his note, actually. Yeah. What's, yeah. What are the notes saying there? Mike Allen said, Mooch and Psalm, I found this Crawford's. Blended scotch okay. in an old liquor store covered in dust. Interesting. The elderly shopkeeper, very elderly shopkeeper, told me that he had a customer request that it be carried. She was also elderly mm -hmm. and hasn't been seen in a few years. Ooh. So it's possible that she's passed. So that's been piling up. And he thought, I'm going to try this to see, like, this old lady... This old lady personally requested he carry this scotch. This, yeah, I was about to say, this has to be a scotch. Yeah. Yeah, this Blended is... Blended scotch. Budget. But the vegetal note on this... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, almost almost uh, charred vegetables, cooked asparagus type of deal. Yeah, it's and it's an over... Not s sweet, but I think overripe, but not fruit. It's... Uh, vegetables. Yeah, it's just a smoked vegetable. It's the steamed um, vegetable medley. It's because it's the sweet carrot. Okay. The note sweet that carrot. is in there. Okay. That's that is, bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is interesting. Is this? Do we know the regions that this was blended from? No, we don't know anything about it. So all I do know is this is a company that dates back to 1800s, right? Really. So A and A Crawford. Yeah. And they're, you know, I don't know, I don't know who they're using for their blends, but they're fairly well known or were with three star and five star Crawfords as the three star Crawford was like a damn good whiskey for the price. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then it became kind of hard to get locally. And then the five star, I think they discontinued was an actual age statement blended scotch. Mm -hmm. And then this is the special reserve Crawfords. Interesting. Now that's all we know about Sometimes it. Sometimes special reserve, mm -hmm. that can mean two very different things. Here's what I can tell you. Special reserve can mean like actual premium, setting aside the best, or it can mean this is the hot garbage we could not yeah. get rid of any other way. Here's what I can tell you. Yeah. Only three years old. The it, bare minimum to be it, called scotch. This is only three? Only three years old. That's a tremendous amount of flavor or on the nose. It's a tremendous amount of... Of, uh, Which makes me think we're getting way more of the new make nose than oh, we are of the barrel oh, nose. You think, maybe, think of that. Okay. Yeah, think of the new make musty note. Uh, you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And then the more you go back to it, the more you acclimate to the, the vegetable medley. Mm-hmm. But at first, oh, and the taste is not bad. It's this kind of like really, really light it's, honeyed fruit. Yeah, it's And sweeter. a little wisp of smoke. It's sweeter than you would expect. I think we may have annihilated the the vegetable receptors in our nose. So by the time we got to the taste, yeah, we're only picking up the the, the prettiness. Yeah, the residual sweet elements there. Yeah. I wonder if we went in raw dog if we'd get that. You don't like raw dog? It's uncomfortable with that phrase. It feels weird phonetically. Raw dog? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know raw dog? <laughs> <laughs> so Carl's Jr. No, I'm just trying to. The, <laughs> you don't want to camp out? <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm actually. You you were starting the Carl's Jr. story. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. No, so, I'm, not, I'm not jumping in. I'm waiting for the story to finish. Okay, so uh, everyone knows that I hate the 
Sounds of mastication. So well, you hate a lot of things, but that, that's on the list. The sounds of mastication. It's on the list. Yeah. Yes. So Carl's Jr. in the early 2000s had a series of commercials where the whole commercial was a close-up of someone eating one of their sloppy burgers and it like dripping down their face and falling on their clothes yeah. and the magnified sound of them chewing and right. eating the burger right. and smacking. Yeah. And then it says, you know, something like Carl's Jr. It's that good. Who cares about the mess? And it's right, good. Right. I mean, it made me so angry. They took a risk, I guess. <laughs> it made me so angry because I just be. This is back when it's like oh, watching the TV and you watch the commercials because right. you can't skip and there's so no you've safe held, DVR. You've this for a long. Yeah, time. and so it's like I've got to find the remote and like mute it or change the channel and then hope I get back in time for my show or like. At the worst, it's just like sit in my own damn living room and be like, ah, oh God, <laughs> right? This is just, it made me so disproportionately angry mm -hmm. that I boycotted Carl's Jr. Mm -hmm. Now this is in a time when I was touring constantly and in California, a lot, a lot of the of gas Carl's stations yeah. was like, we'd stop for gas and the only food was a Carl's Jr. connected to the gas station. Uh -huh. And I refused to eat at Carl's Jr. And so the guys in the band would be like, dude, we're not stopping again for like six hours. Right. I'm like, fine. So you're a man of principle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, and I've never been in a Carl's Jr. since. That was 2000 or 99. Uh -huh. I've never been in a Carl's Jr. since, <laughs> even if it was the only option to eat for the next seven to 10 hours. So you held on to this for two decades. Yeah. Two decades. Still not going back. No I also sign. found out they own Hardee's. Oh, they so that's, it's, that's it's, out. It's this reskinned. It's yeah. Something, yeah. Yeah. Oh, huh, that's interesting. So you are admittedly vain. Yeah. And and chronically stubborn. Yeah. I do I think I got more stubborn about that one because the band guys started hassling me about it. Oh, so you just had to double and down. So I doubled you got down. To double up. Well, no, I was like, oh, well, screw you. No, I got I got you. I got yeah. you. No, it's easy. Like, like, first it was like, I don't want to go to Carl's In Jr. In the face of ball busting. Yeah. Sometimes your only go-to move is to double down. <laughs> yeah. I get that. So right. that that ingrained it in there, like, you can't sustain this. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? I can't? On your deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like, if you just eat this Carl's Peter Jr., you will live. I'm like, f*** <laughs> <laughs> uh, You know what? It's, it's another one of these whiskeys. The more I go back to it. I'm acclimating to the things that I think are nice and interesting, and I don't like it. I don't like it now. Yeah, it gets... That's so weird. Yeah. It's almost like these budget blends that I've been working on at first blush are like, yeah. oh, I'm so fun. Yeah. And then as those become background, yep. yeah, it gets not good. You acclimate to like the sweeter things. There was a moment, just a flash of like a, a fruity melon in there. Yeah, that's, that's what that's, I got on the first set. Yeah, that's gone now. Oh I'm yeah, that and up. the wisp of smoke is gone. It's kind of what's really watery it's vegetal a little, honey. A little bit of a bitterness in there too. It's like if you got the vegetable medley and then put honey on it. Not even a lot. And, and then ground like it watered up. Watered down honey. And then watered it down. The whole thing. Watered it all down. Yeah. <laughs> now admittedly this is very, very young, and I'm assuming it's not yeah. a lot of money. No, nah, probably not. Yeah, three years. Mike, this is fun. Thanks for the yes, thank you. random um, budget adventures. <laughs> Christian W., there's going to be some serious invasion of personal space as soon as Rex is allowed. That is true. Yes, that's my question. Yes. You've gotten comfortable now. Oh, I'm, I'm super comfortable. When you no longer need to sit over there. Right. So, what's so happening? This is what we do. We uh, kick off the unsheltering with a personal space invasion. Uh -uh. And then once you have been adequately annoyed. Then I sit back down. <laughs> so this is a permanent <laughs> setup now. The split. There's going to be a lot of people really unhappy about the permanent what? split screen. What the hell? We're getting constant people going like, "This split screen stuff is bullshit." What do you know? It's like, eh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rona. <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe you join me. No. Nah. Right here. No. Nah. And then just Flip. imagine this. Imagine this. You're sitting right here. And then you can hold my legs. Oh God. And give me a little bit of a foot massage. Look, Rex. I've studied video. And uh, you have not. I this, can explain is, to you not true at all, that way. when you stand, you his, have more energy. His investment in the video into learning how to do video well. When I think you've forgotten more <laughs> things than you ever learned. Yeah, that's if true. that's that makes sense, it does. Don't worry about. It. Don't think yeah. too hard. Don't think too hard. Darth Tripodakis one. Darth <laughs> Tripodakis. I think I got that. Yeah. All right. All right. Why so vexed, Rex? Because he won't give me a foot massage. No, 
You remember the episode where I was like, why the mountain, Salas? What's the deal? <laughs> Here's the body stealing no. dream. <laughs> if you fight, make it fight for friends. <laughs> If you steal, me, you steal your lover's heart. And if you try, wait, 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 if you wait, 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 dry, uh, dry week is Friday. All right, starts at noon. Quarterly challenge for all the magnificent bastards. Yes. All right. And if you drink, <laughs> may, may you drink, drink with us. us.